Marbs here in the Marbs Cave, and I want to spend some time today talking to you about the Scuf uh, Gaming Prestige controller for Xbox One. Now, you know, Scuf's been around the game for a while, and I, I, I got to be honest with you. Um, this is built as a professional controller that all the pros use, or majority of pros use, however you want to go, you know, uh, go with it. But let's, let me give you a little bit in the spirit of full disclosure, my feelings about Scuff. I, I guess at first, back in the old days when I, um, you know, was still using an Elite Series 1 controller, I saw the Scuff parts on the shelf and I thought to myself, Boy, at those prices, what is this really going to gain me that I don't have already? Now, you have to bear in mind that I wasn't using paddles. I fought paddles for a long time. And I think it's essential to talk about paddles because paddles are one of the big things you get into when you start looking into the professional controllers. Now, whether you use trigger buttons or actual physical paddles on the bottom of the controller... Um, the Microsoft Elite series has used paddles. The Scuff series has used paddles. Um, you know, there are other controllers out there. I think Razer uses buttons. Um, I think the Power A high-end, their high-end controller uses buttons uh, uh, under the bottom of the controller. And, you know, but the, the idea being that you do not have to take your finger off the trigger to use certain functionality. So if you're holding your trigger, you know, your uh, left trigger down and you need to hit the left bumper, you know, a lot of people, okay, don't use two fingers. They use one finger on the trigger and they take that finger off the trigger, okay, and hit to hit the bumper. Now, instead of doing that, by having the paddles on the bottom, you could remap that left bumper to a paddle and you could hit the paddle faster than you could move your finger from the trigger to the bumper. Now, that being said, there are people that use a two-finger method, and that works great for some folks. But I'm kind of old school, so that was a big adjustment for me to make. Um, and one I never really could quite master. So, um, as time went by... I realized the importance of paddles. Okay, so when I discovered paddles, it was after I discovered um, scuff. Okay, so I needed some new tops, um, you know, uh, <laughs> controller tops, the, the, the actual uh, joystick uh, tops for the controller. And um, I, I, I looked at replacements and, you know, I, I, I was talking to the manager at my local GameStop back in the day, and I was still using an Elite Series 1, and I was very happy with my Elite Series 1. But Scuff, there was a sale going on, and he said, yeah, well, why don't you try some Scuff and see what you think? And, you know, my response to him was, well, Scuff, to me, was is, is overpriced, and it's I don't think it's necessary. I think a lot of pros use Scuff because Scuff gives it to them or Scuff sponsors them. Um, that was my impression of scuff, okay? And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that impression of scuff, but I think that I think it, it, it's an impression that has a lot of misgivings now. So my point is is that I tried the scuff parts and I, I wound up little by little completely scuffing my elite series one, meaning that I was using the paddles, I was using the grips, and I was using the the, the joystick top so the point is the, the stick top so the the point is i really like the feel of the texture of the scuff and the grip and i noticed it did really make a difference um i never got into the d the bias pad um i tried that i, I never liked that i that 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 was a little too far over the edge for me so i, I never really used that i'm still using the standard cross d-pad um i kind of like that best still so all that being said, as time went by, um, as everybody knows, Microsoft discontinued the Elite Series 1. Well, um, then parts for the Elite Series 1 from Scuff became difficult to get. And um, 
I don't really think that that was any fault of Scuffs. It was just the Scuff, you know, they weren't going to keep stock in Elite Series 1 parts um, at the rate that they had been. And, 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 and it was kind of something that was changing over to Elite Series 2. And that they had had the Prestige. Now, the Prestige is an interesting controller. I, I would tell you that the Prestige, and this is my Prestige, this is an Ultra Camo Prestige, um, reminds me of the Xbox 1708. And a matter of fact, I think a lot of the design and the you know feel of this is very, 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 very similar to the 1708. But Scuff has their own take on it. Um, the main difference gets into is when you turn it around and look at the back. Now, when you look at the back, you can see the full paddle, complemented paddles here. But you also notice that there's no battery. Well, the reason there's no battery is because the battery is built in. The battery is built in, and then it has the, you know, the charging, obviously. Um, and then you have your sticks, you know, and, 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 and the faceplate is removable. Now, understand... Okay, this is a completely customizable controller. You can mix and match this and do this any way you want. Now, for instance, this one here has a gray bottom, black paddles. This one here is a uh, silver uh, camo, and it has a black back, black paddles, um, green rings. Again, the regular D-pad here. This one here, you know, has the... Uh, has again has a different shell it has the black and you know the black paddles again what i think is interesting um though is that you got so many different options to customize with the rings can be changed to any color you know to any of the colors that they offer you can change the button color the triggers the bumpers and they'll build it right to order exactly how you want it ship it out to you and it isn't going to be cheap now, the controller itself is, is, is smaller than, um, a little bit smaller than the Elite. I, I think it is definitely, you know, it, it is very similar in size to the 1708 S series controller, um, or what people call the S series controller. So I don't know that that's a big deal, but I do think it's a deal nonetheless. Now, that being said, um, in addition to the rings, you can customize the D-pad. You can customize the buttons, uh, the button types, and like I said, in the triggers and the bumpers, even the paddle color. The bottoms of the the bottom has full grip all the way around in the scuff grip. Now, one thing I will say is that I've noticed, and it is kind of an issue, is that with this particular Ultra Camo. The gray, it does seem to wear a little bit. And when it wears, um, you do get some uh, discoloration. Now, I'm not sure if that isn't just coming off my hands, uh, me being a dirty boy um, or whatever. But it does something that I should mention for those of you who would not like that. But I will say that, as you can see here, over time, it does wear. And you can see here... Um, that you can see that this uh, particular scuff uh, prestige has worn. Now, one thing you're going to say to me is, why do you have three scuff prestiges? Well, the answer is, is because I've actually moved to the scuff prestige as my primary controller. And it is the controller, my controller of choice. It is slightly lighter. The vibration is slightly less. But the big thing that I like is the paddle setup. I love the paddle setup on the back. I love the feel of the paddles. I love the speed at which I can use the paddles on the back of the controller. And I think that that gives me a competitive advantage, just like I think it might give you a competitive advantage. Now, getting used to this was not hard for me because I had already been used to using the scuff paddle accessory on the Elite Series 1. So I was used to vertical paddles like this. And as people know, the paddle setup on the Elite Series 2, or if you use the default paddle, is in more of a horizontal type of configuration, which is different, and it feels different. Now, I will say that Scuff does make an Elite Series 1 um, uh, 
or I'm sorry, excuse me, Elite Series 2 paddle set and uh, replacement sticks, caps, and we, we'll talk about those at another time, but uh, <laughs> we'll just stay on target here. So on the long review for this, you know, I, I gotta say, um, I switched because the parts just weren't available for the, you know, as readily available for the Elite Series 1 anymore. So, um, because the grips do wear, the stick tops do wear, you have to replace them periodically. Um, I don't, you know, I, I would suggest that in most cases, I don't have to replace the stick, uh, the sticks more than, uh, maybe every, uh, oof, maybe every 45 to 60 days, um, it, they get wore down enough that I think, yeah, it's time to replace the stick tops. Now, I like the grip on the sip tops. I use the short concave. They are available in, in, in both a domed and a concave top, um, and they are available in various lengths. The concave, I believe, is available in a short, medium, and a long, and I believe the dome is available in a medium and a long, or is it maybe a, I think it's a medium and a long, or a medium and a tall. Uh, You'll have to check with the Scuff website for more information. I don't use dome tops. I don't like the feel of the dome tops, especially for shooters. So that's something just that I'm not liking. Now, the paddle configuration for me works great. And I, I got to say, it has improved my game. I can definitely say that the paddles are the difference with the Scuff Prestige. However, there's one thing you will find out if you become a heavy user of the Scuff Prestige. And that's the fact that paddles don't last forever. For me, I have a problem breaking this paddle all the time. And, you know, the reality is the paddles are made of plastic, okay? And, you know, they don't last forever. Now, I do know that they do make competition quality metal paddles. Um, that you can buy from a third party and use on your scuff. I don't know if, if scuff, uh, I, I would assume, doesn't approve of that. But um, I believe it's compatible nonetheless. Now, that being said, so what do I think of the controller itself? It is a Bluetooth controller, okay? It uses Microsoft's Bluetooth. Um, it comes with a... USB cable. It is braided USB cable. Very nice. Gold plated on the end. Nice scuff uh, tie here to hold it. And then it comes with the magical EMR key. And I'm going to try to get this real close to the camera so you can see. The EMR key is what you use to program the scuff. Now, how it works is you actually place the EMR key on the back in the center of the controller. Then you hold down the paddle you want to program, and then you hit the corresponding button. Now, okay, let's talk about this for a minute. What that means is, is that the paddle can clone any button on the controller itself. It can't be bound to an individual new function. So let's say you can't say, oh, I want to make left paddle do X. You would have to say, oh, I want to make X do this, and then map X to left paddle. That's the only way that this controller supports it. Now, I've heard, and I, I've not experienced for myself, that some of the Razer controllers and the Power A's have the ability to actually map the buttons on the bottom of the controller or their functionality of paddles. Um, that is a difference than the scuff. Uh, the EMR programming on the scuff, though, is pretty bulletproof as far as, you know, emulating the paddles. Now, I have had it lose programming before, and if you do lose the programming, it's as simple as pulling the EMR key out and reprogramming it, just taking a second and setting it up. Um, it isn't a big deal. I don't think that there's anything to, you know, worry about there whatsoever. One of the other advantages that you that people um, find out about with the Scuff Prestige is that you there are screws in here that allow you to set the stick tension. Now, I have I, I got to be honest with you. I, I've messed with it a little bit. 
Um, but honestly, I, I don't really find that it gives me an advantage one way or the other. Um, I like the field in the default position, so I really don't mess with that very much, okay? Now, some people who want to fine-tune more will say, yes, this is definitely something I'm into and something that I want to do. Now, also, too, you know, one of the real cool things about the Prestige, yes, the faceplates are replaceable. As you can see here, you have your faceplate here. It's held on by an extra strong magnet. And um, you can see the, the, the controller here itself. It allows you to take the thumbsticks off and replace the thumbsticks. So, so you know, replacing thumbsticks, paddles, and the faceplate are no problem whatsoever. Anything more than that, you're going to have to go to, through Scuff, and Scuff's going to have to, you know, help you get whatever other problem that you uh, might have with your prestige resolved. And that's something good to point out. I've dealt with the scuff service people quite a bit. I can tell you, they are great at refurbishing your controller. If you have a problem with your scuff prestige, you can get it worked on. You can get it fixed. You, 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 know, you don't need to throw it away or stop using it. Um, and that's a good thing because the reality is you're investing in a controller that costs a considerable amount of money. A loaded scuff prestige can go you know, north of $250 to $300. It just depends on the color scheme, the setup, the type of shell, etc. In addition, Scuff also offers a case. They have a case just like the Elites do. It is not included. It is additional. So, um, you know, usually you can get it on sale for $20 bucks, uh, when you buy your controller. And, you know, usually they bundle that with a couple extra stick tops. And, you know, um, some some other things, um, the uh, gamer grip and some other stuff. That's another subject altogether. I've tried that. Uh, results are mixed on that, too. They do provide you with the scuff uh, special screwdriver that you need to set the tension on the sticks. There's a variety of different shells available. The pricing on the shells is all over the place. Um, the fancier it gets the more it's going to cost. And it's really quite that simple. Now, here's the thing. I've been using my scuff for Siege for quite a while now. And I have found that the scuff for Siege gives me an advantage. I don't know any other way to say it. I feel better when I play with this controller. I've tried other controllers. I would say the next closest controller was the scuffed version of my Elite Series 1. I'm still playing with the Elite Series 2, um, both in the scuffed scenario and the non-scuffed scenario, to see how I like that. So far, I don't really have an opinion yet. I haven't used it long enough to really know um, what I think. What I will say is, is that I think they make an excellent product. However, I've had some issues, okay, and... That's led me to get to know the service department maybe a little bit more than I would like. I've had to send controllers back for drift. I've had to send controllers back for uh, the stick sticking. Um, had to send controller back for you know a, a number of different things. And, and the reality is it, a lot of it has to do with really good and heavy use. When you use the product a lot, you can expect the product... To, 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 you know, only last so long. I mean, this is the reality. These things, you know, have a, have a lifespan. If you're going to invest in a controller at this level, it's good to know that Scuff stands behind it. If you need to get it serviced and you need to get it, you know, refurbished to tip-top condition so that it works like the day you took it out of the box, you have that ability to do that with Scuff. Um, I like that. I like the customization. I like the ability to be able to change the controller around. It has improved my game, and I recommend it. Um, it isn't for everybody, but if you want a controller and you want to learn paddles and you want to experience something that's very close to the 1708 that you're already used to, the scuff will get it done. Um, and I think he gets it done quite well. Um, I can't say that the money is where I would like it to be. 
it is a little expensive. And, you know, I, I would say to you, um, if you're really interested, you can always try to find a deal, but I don't see them <laughs> on sale with deal. I also would caution people to be careful buying controllers used. One of the things that you're seeing now with a lot of used controllers is that they, they, they have either bad uh, buttons, they have drift, drift that's not necessarily detectable um, at first glance. You need to really, really test it to get a feel for that. So at any rate, Marbs would rate the Scuff Prestige a four and a half out of uh, five stars. And I, I gotta say, I think it's an excellent product. I do think that it has some issues in the durability area. I also wonder if Scuff, you know, is gonna continue to be producing this controller because honestly, now that they've uh, kind of moved to the new Series uh, X controller, um, with the new D-pad and the new setup, I and the capture button, of course. I gotta wonder if that isn't going to be uh, a design that Scuff may choose to emulate and refine, you know, uh, the controller even more and base a new prestige based off that design, perhaps. But um, we don't know. Scuff hasn't said anything. Um, I think most Scuff Prestige owners are just celebrating the fact that faceplates are available. At any rate, this is Marbs. We'll see you next time. Thanks.